Hey you guys, little quick uh, video for you. This is specifically for Frank, who's a Chess Bootcamp uh, Live member, who had a question on how to um, export and import PGM files. What are PGM files and what is this FEN thing as well? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a very, very quick guide into how to move games around uh, using the PGM. And we'll have a look at the fen as well. Okay, so let's say, for example, that you are you're just exploring, you know, a position. Say, so I'm in the, the masters database here on the chess.com explorer, for example, and I'm very keen on the, the Danish gambit, so I want to see, for example, how do how have very high rated players played this on, on the masters database? Okay, so what do they do from here? Well, d5 is the most common response, okay, at this point. This, this is the Schlechter defense, I know this. And then white really has to take with the bishop, apparently, okay. And then we get knight f6 is the only good move, okay. Otherwise, you fall into um, bishop takes and then you can capture the queen anyway. So knight f6 um, is played. And then the best move here for white is bishop takes f7. So this is like the main refutation of the Danish gambit. So this is something that I need to understand, okay? And then uh, king takes f7, and then we go down this route, okay? Now this has been played 11 times, nothing else has been played. So I know that this is kind of standard, okay? Now this, uh, some people will simply resign in this, um, in, in this position. Um, however, there is this move here, attacking the queen. So queen comes back and you trade off, and then the rook comes over here to attack this pawn a second time, and then I think f3, okay? f3, and this has only been played three times, okay? So from f3, okay, but we've had this position four times. So now you can go, for example, view all games from current position, and you can see how they ended. Okay, so this is Muhammad Tag something, um, so this is a 2000 who beat a 2500 from this position, okay? So I can click on that now and it will load it up um, at, actually as the game. So here is, here is the game. Now, let's say, for example, now I know I can click computer analysis here, for example, um, but let's say I just wanted to analyze it in Lee Chess for giggles, right? So I click the download link here and there's the PGM, and I'll just go copy, right? Um, you can download the PGM file if you like, but I'm just handling the PGM as text. And now, for example, I can go into here, and this is the Leeches analysis board, okay? And I can literally just paste it into, into there, and then say import PGM. So here is the game, right? So PGM stands for Portable Game Notation. And it's actually, it's very readable as well. You can, you can see here, so 1e4e5, blah, 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 blah. And, and that's, that's basically it, you know? Uh, very straightforward. Now, here we've got this fen as well. So fen is, is, is something else, it's quite interesting. So we'll do, we'll play, let's play a few moves in this and see what happens, All right? So you can also use the mouse roller as well. Takes take them bam. Okay, so from here, so you can you know you can do do your thing now. Now so let's have a quick look at the the fen. So the PGN is the um, is a record of a whole game. So move by move, it tells you what happens, and it assumes that you start from the regular orthodox starting position, right? The the FEN. So it's it's a different notation. It's named after two two guys who in, invented it, right? is um, different. The, the, the FEN gives you the snapshot of a board at a particular point in time. So you can get that from any point in the game, right? You see, as I go through this, you can see the FEN is actually um, updating itself, okay? So let me just quickly talk you through this. So what the first thing that you've got is you've got these, um, this code here, okay? And what that is is, so there's eight sections on there, and they correspond to each row on the board, going, I think, from top to bottom, okay? So, from the top, 
it, so you say it's, it's got three R two K one. Okay, so the three means three empty squares. R for rook and it's lowercase, which means it's black's rook. Okay, um, <clears throat> then two, two more empty. Lowercase k is black king and one is empty. Right. So this is just giving you then, then here it's got black pawn, black pawn, black pawn, space, rook, space, black pawn, black pawn. Okay. And then if they're in uppercase, like so, like for example, this one, uh, we've got one uppercase b for white bishop, uh, uppercase white rook, white knight, etc., etc. And then at the end, it tells you w. Okay. Um, W means it's white, white to move, right? Which is important. The next bit is um, to do with castling rights. Okay, so here you can see black's already castled. Okay, so black can't castle at all. Capital K means that white can still castle king side, right? A capital Q might be can still castle queen side. K capital K capital Q means white can still castle either side, right? Black cannot castle, so we have a little dash there. And then finally, there's two numbers. So the five means we've had five half turns. So me, you, well, you, me, you, me, you, right? Five moves have been played without a capture or a pawn advance, all right? And that could be useful, for example, uh, for tracking when a draw might occur, right? So that's how many kind of dead half moves we've had. And if we get to a um, hundred, so that's 50 each, then it's a draw by boring each other to death, okay? And then the final number here, you see there's a 16, and the 16 means simply we've had, we're now on move 16. 16 is the next move. As you can hear, as you can see here, rookie seven uh, by black, and the next move is there. And we're, so we're on move 16 here, you see that six is just updated, and if I go next, it's now we're on move 17. Okay, so that's it. That's your quick, dirty guide to the portable game notation, the PGN, and the FEN, which is for snapshots of the board. And, and again, you can you can grab the FEN, for example. So I can copy this. Let's let me go back into and here. I'm not going to go to the Explorer. I'll go to Chess.com's analysis board, or you can import them into you know Chessable or whatever else you like. Okay, so I'm going to go load FEN here. I'm going to load a position. And here now I can analyze it with my favorite analysis board, for example. But it knows, it knows whose go it is, right? So from here, um, it won't let me make a move for black because it knows it's white's turn because that's what the, the Fen said, you see? And then it can say, what are the best moves from here? Um, it says rook b1 is a good move, okay. Interesting. So there you go, that's your quick, quick guide, especially for, for you as well. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.